Hello everyone, it's Imran here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to react to another video by the Odds One app, One Zows, and this was the newest one he uploaded yet only a day ago, which is called My Thoughts on Gambling. So last time I reacted to was around a around about a month ago, which was um the internet's change me, which talked about you know the internet's early days. You days, if you haven't seen my reaction to that. Make sure you go and check it out. It will be on my channel in the playlist in the Odd One Out playlist in the playlist section. Yeah, I really didn't. I enjoyed it more than I expected. I mean, I have, like I said, did a bit of research on the Odd One Out or James as he's known, being a famous YouTuber, YouTuber that everyone is subscribed to. And all I can say is he definitely deserves it. He definitely has, like I said, my subscription to his channel. And yeah, I can't wait to see what he has. To to offer with his take on the subject of gambling. Link to the video I'm reacting in the description down below as always. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this. You should gamble. That's right, I said it. You really? all should gamble so you learn firsthand how stupid gambling is. Here's the stitch with gambling, really? okay? Gambling is only fun if you don't understand math. Humans have been gambling yep. since the dawn of whenever money was invented. I mean, just take just one look at the Las Vegas invented. Strip and you will immediately understand how lucrative the gambling industry is. That's where Formula One will be racing. Racing this year. A new racing this year on. By the way, if you're wondering when I'll be launching my new F1 channel, I'm probably going to leave it as late until probably just when the season gets underway. And probably the first video I upload to that will be... Um my review of the 2023 Bahrain Grand Prix. So make sure you keep an eye out for the new F1 channel I'm going to launch. They built the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, <gasps> Lol, and Caesar's James Palace all on the, the same there. street. Gambling is everywhere in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. As soon as you step off the plane, you're bombarded with slot machines in the airport. Are you kidding me? You can't wait to gamble? As soon as you step off the airplane, you just immediately go, I gotta win big! Look, I yeah. understand why people gamble. I get it. I play Magic the Gathering, and opening up a booster pack and not getting any expensive cards is the exact same feeling as losing your entire life savings. The first time Ooh, I gambled, yep. I was in Australia for VidCon. After the convention, me and a bunch of mates went to a bar, and I okay. found out that there was a casino attached to it. And I thought, Ooh. perfect, I'm in a different country, so my parents will never find out that I gambled. Plus, I'm of legal age and independent. <laughs> Let's get our gambling freak on. I know that feeling, because when you turn 18, you're officially a young adult, you can do so many things. I mean, you can, you can vote, you can go and see 18 plus films in the cinema, what else? And also you can drink. You can also drink, but I, I don't do that because of my religion. I do not drink whatsoever. I've always drank water and I probably st still will in 10 years time. I was only comfortable asking my friend Maz to borrow some cash because I feel like if a friend asks, hey, can I borrow some money to gamble with? You're never going to see that money or that friend ever again. All yep. Maz had was a fiver, which is Australian for $5. So I only got one chip to gamble with, and I decided to spend that one chip on roulette because that's the only game I knew how to play. I know oh, okay. how to play blackjack, but I know there's a mathematical algorithm for the best, most perfect way to play, so I don't know how yeah. to play blackjack, you know? And poker is too intimidating. I can't deal with people hyperanalyzing my facial expressions to see if I'm bluffing. I already know I'm a bad liar. And the last time I actually yeah. played poker was with Luigi on my DS. Here's some honest oh, strategy I used for to love that. Roulette. I used to love, love the mini games from New Super Mario Bros. DS. In fact, I actually still owe the game, this game to, game to this day, which I play on my Nintendo. If I'll show 3DS, which is right here. So I did used to own a Nintendo DSi, but then I, well, when I obviously bought this new Nintendo 3DS XL, I basically decided just to uh, I'll just get rid of the DSi since it, my DS games played on the 3DS. And all the data that I had on 
my DS games pretty much were still there on the 3DS. Okay, sometimes a roulette table will have a TV screen that gives you stats for hot numbers at the table. Like it'll say, Red 23's been popping, it's been hit 14 times today. Ignore those statistics. Every square at a roulette table has an equal chance of hitting regardless of whatever the previous numbers were. Just ignore those stats and always bet odd. So, bet with odd. just one chip to my name, I was able to turn that single chip into 200 Australian dollary dues. Well oh, done. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh, the gambler's high. <sighs> Oh, I'm not sure about your investments. It's but like he's 4, just thousand percent profit. He's taking drugs. Only he's taking, he's acting like they're gambling his drugs. That is very good. I could have kept going, but I really wanted to rub my winnings into Maz's face. I cashed out my chips, went back to the bar, and then slammed the two hundos on the table and said something cocky like, "How about them cheeky buggers, mate?" And Maz was like, wow. "Did you just win those two hundred wibbly wobbly dollary dues?" Yeah. And it's all mine. And Maz went, hey, you still owe me 200 Australian dollars for that other thing I did for you. What other oh. thing? Yeah, I, I guess I do, do, I do owe you that. Then he scooped up my two Australian hundos that I was just rubbing in his face. It's an anomaly that my very first casino experience was so positive. It was like the devil himself was tempting me to continue gambling. See? Gambling lets you pay yep, off your that's debts. that's the devil. <laughs> Never stop. That? Yep. Never stop cutting out the ads in my videos from now on. <sighs> or I'm just really good at Australian roulette. This is probably how people get addicted to gambling, huh? Casinos are designed yep. to make you stay in them for as long as possible. There's no clocks or windows, so you can't see how late it's getting. Chips are used, so it doesn't feel like you're spending money. And there's supposedly the chips free alcohol, acting like actually but French I guess fries. they run out whenever I show up. But even knowing all the ways casinos manipulate you, it's kind of fun just being inside a casino. All the lights, yep. the old ladies at the slot machines smoking away their already decaying lungs, the people Ew. crying in the bathroom because they have a gambling addiction. It's great. Hey, buddy, don't worry. You're going to win next time. I'm sure of it. To counter the life and the stressors, working, though, James. people will give the advice, if you're going to gamble, have a set budget and just assume you're going to lose it all. But I couldn't even do that. Not the sticking to a budget part. I couldn't bring myself to gamble away my allotted budget. When I went to Vegas, I told myself I was only going to gamble $300. But after I lost 200, I thought to myself, Ooh. yeah, I don't think this is a good investment anymore. One time nope. I was on a slot machine and I got the five buffaloes in a row or whatever, and I got the chance to win a jackpot. There was a mini game on the slot machine where I had to flip over tiles that had either bronze, silver, or golden apples. And if I flipped okay. over three golden apples, I'd win the golden jackpot. And if I flipped over three silver apples, I'd get the silver jackpot, and bronze apples gave the bronze jackpot, yep. which was the lowest Pretty jackpot. Much. The gold jackpot oh, was $5,000. So I flip over the first tile, and it's a golden apple. And I think, whoa. Then I flip over another tile, and it's another golden apple. Oh, and come that's on. when I got the feeling. Oh, yep. my God. <laughs> I might actually win $5,000. He looks extra thick then right there. Then I flip there. over three bronze apples in a row, winning the lowest jackpot. I don't even remember how much it <laughs> wow. was because I spent it all on the very same slot machine. And I immediately knew what happened. The game was dangling that golden jackpot right in front of my face, mm -hmm. making me think I was one golden apple away from making it big, even making me pick which tile to flip over so no, it was that a cash cow? more in control. When the pick which tile Making me think yep, I was, it was one a cash golden cow, apple a proper cash from cow right there. Big, even making me pick which tile to flip over so it would make me feel more in control. When the whole time the computer could just change what was on the tile that I flip over because it's a computer. It can cheat. It's Schrodinger's jackpot. And before you think Ooh, I just got really bad luck, that very day I was walking through the casino and I saw a guy playing on the same slot machine. And he okay. got to the same jackpot minigame. And I stopped to watch him and the exact same thing happened. He flipped over two golden apples and then three bronze ones. 
I don't know what the statistics are of that oh, happening I thought he was twice, get three gold but it's mighty a coincidental. Test. Why are we still gambling if the majority of people who gamble lose all their money? Because yeah. it's fun. It's a stupid way to spend your money, absolutely. But the rush, man! In Australia, there were multiple times where I could have lost all my money, and statistically I should have, but whenever an odd number was hit, I couldn't help but throw my hands in the air and celebrate. I was hugging the <laughs> dealer over winning $20. However, no matter how wow. many times you win the jackpot, if you spend enough time in a casino, you mm -hmm. will always lose. Ever hear yep. the phrase, the house always wins? That's because they have the mathematical advantage and computers who cheat. Gambling Ooh. is not an investment. It's not a way to pay off your That's because they have the mathematical advantage and computers who cheat. Getting all eyes on Dennis vibes with, with that face opening, reminding me of that ghost Marklin engine. I mean, the all eyes on Dennis, my reaction to all eyes on Dennis is my most popular video, which you, which you should check out because I watched it on Premiere. Gambling is not an investment. It's not a way to pay off your debts. It is entertainment. If done responsibly yep. and in a social setting, gambling is absolutely fine to indulge in. And if you get upset that you lost all your money, what did you think was gonna happen? So for this end card, I have decided to gamble away a hundred real dollars, so. Oh, look, he's got a dog right there, so. Okay, so yeah. And he's got a new season of Old Balls, season two. Two. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, it was quite shorter than I expected, but it turned out the longer one was just a few other things. So yeah, that was a pretty good. I mean, what he was saying about gambling is pretty much so true. We don't gamble just to lose our money. We just do it for entertainment. So this is why I love the odds one out because his animations are just so funny and they're more realistic. So. I mean, my dad does betting. He does. We we you can call gambling betting or betting gambling or pretty much the other whatever way you like to. But my dad bets all the time because when he does horse racing, so and sometimes it's basically the story of my dad's life where he can come so close to where at times he can have great luck, but at other times he can have such bad luck by getting done the line by another horse. But a great video by the odds one out odd ones out. Always gently watching this. I really do enjoy your animations. Can't wait to see what you have planned for the rest of the year. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video I reacted to. And also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to next. Share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified for when I upload new videos or when I post on Community Tab. And also make sure you subscribe to the odds one out, ones out for more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.